vaccine has the potential to help us get back to a normal life, but for many people of color, the decision to get that shot can be complicated. There's a distrust of the healthcare system among many members of the black community, a distrust that's rooted in a sordid history and current inequities. Representation is a start in gaining back that trust. Here's Liz Kodoy. It was an historic moment at UC Health's University of Colorado Hospital. The first dose of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine and medical assistant Shavana Gunn was the one who volunteered to administer it. He just came to our side and was like, who wants to get the first vaccine and be on the news? And I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> the significance of a black medical professional injecting a vaccine was not top of mind. But days later, that importance started to set in. I'm glad that I can be a proactive voice. We can have more of our African American um, nurses and MAs and front desk people. We're going to have to have a lot of that in order for things to change and be okay. A recent Pew Research study found while 71% of Black Americans knew someone who was hospitalized or died of COVID-19, only 42% said that they would get a vaccine. Nine News racial equality expert Dr. Rosemary Allen believes that may be because of what's happened in the past. The reason that Black people are more likely to die from COVID is because of comorbidities um, that are a result of historical and systemic racism. Inequities in health care that have resulted in mistrust, leading many, like Dr. Allen, to seek out medical professionals who understand. As much as I can, I try to get African-American doctors or doctors who are very familiar with the experience of African-Americans. Familiar with statistics like those that show black women are five times more likely to die in childbirth, according to the CDC. Familiar with history, like the Tuskegee experiment, where researchers let hundreds of black men with syphilis go untreated to study the progression of the disease a community that needs to hear from their own, something Surgeon General Jerome Adams had in mind as he got his vaccine live on TV last week. We must start by acknowledging this history of mistreatment and exploitation of minorities by the medical community and the government. Because without that understanding of history, confidence in the system could be harder to rebuild in the middle of another historic moment where more lives are on the line. I understand where everybody's coming from, but they need to think about people that they love that can possibly get this and pass from it or get really, really, really sick. Liz Kodalik, Nine News. Hospital systems have been working on vaccine community outreach for months. UC Health tells us their efforts include collaborating with local organizations and leaders, making sure accurate information gets to communities of color from people who they know and trust.